Hey guys, so I'm going to do another video on our old friend Jonathan Curtin, Johnny Boy. Um, so I watched the most recent video that Curtin uploaded onto his channel, his latest response of like the 10 to 15 responses he's done to Doom because Doom, because whenever Doom uploads a new video, I imagine that Jonathan's dick uh, gets turned on like a light with a light switch, so, but... <laughs> But, okay, all jokes aside, um, I want to address something that you kept uh, bringing up in your most recent video, John. Um, and that is your false equivalencies that you use with uh, LGBT people, or LGBTQ+, depending on how far left you lean. But nonetheless, uh, you need to stop that. Because I have several friends on Facebook who consider themselves a part of the LGBT community, and they have said up and down repeatedly multiple times that pedophiles have no place in the LGBT community anywhere at all. And they also think that pedophiles and pedophilia is disgusting. And I'm pretty sure they both think that they should be thrown under buses. So, there's that. Also, you know, you keep, you said in your video, oh well, you know, homosexuality was, was once considered a... Uh, give me one second here. Sorry about that. It's the uh, cat that was trying to debate Stetson in the debate that me and Doom had with Stetson. So, anyway, she couldn't bear to talk about this either. She couldn't bear to listen to all this bullshit either. But, anyway, it's not my bullshit, but the bullshit that I'm bringing up about John. Anyways. But, uh, the equivalency they keep bringing up with, because uh, you said that, you know, there was a time when, you know, homosexuality was uh, condemned and considered uh, taboo, like really, really taboo and stuff back in the day, in like the 1960s or whatever. And you compare it, put it on the same level pretty much as pedophilia. I don't know how many times I or Doom or anyone else has to explain this to you, but being, I'm just going to use being gay as an example, um... But being gay and being a pedophile are two completely different things, okay? Gay people, the only difference is that they are attracted to the same sex as themselves. That's it. They're still attracted to adults. Get it? Understand that? Is that, that processing in your mind? Are you understanding this? Gay people are attracted to adults. They are still attracted to adults who understand what they are getting themselves into and can understand the concept of sex. You get it? But you know what? You keep insisting that... You keep insisting on using this false equivalency. I'm going to use it. I'm going to twist it around your neck here. There's a reason why in the 1960s, let's say, there's a reason why over time, since the 1960s, homosexuality has become more and more accepted as it rightfully should be, there's a reason why that's become more accepted, and pedophilia has not. Pedophilia is just as widely condemned now as it was back in the 60s, and there's a reason for that. It's because there's a vast amount of research that proves that when pedophiles act on their desires, it fucks their victims up. I don't know how many times I had to bring that up to Stetson, and I don't know how many times I have to bring it up to you, but you can't seem to process that. And you literally describe the process of child grooming and just try to pass it off as normal or okay. There's a lot of creepy shit you said in your most recent in your most recent response. You even talked about how you were saying, oh, it's okay to kiss your dad on kiss your dad on the lips and cuddle with your dad and everything. It, show, it tells me a lot about what's going on in your mind and all this other sick shit that's in your mind, because obviously you're okay with incest as well. But no, I mean, yeah, so it stop using the false equivalency, stop equating gay people and pedophiles together, because it's nothing alike. It's not even the same ballpark, not the same planet, not the same universe. Okay? And... <laughs> Another thing that you said in your video, like I said, there's a vast amount of research to back us up. The research that you've posted thus far has been shit. It's been shit. You posted the same article three times, and that article, I skimmed through it a little bit, all of the citations are quite dated. The newest citation on that source was, I believe, from 2006. 
It ranged from 2006 to a citation back from 1961. So you have one source with a bunch of shady, nefarious citations. And then you've got another source that you posted, which is nothing more than an opinion piece. So you've got shady, unreliable sources, and you've got opinion pieces. That's all you've got. And you kept saying about how there were statistics that you didn't bring up or you didn't look up that you had to look up. Why, when you say that Doom is an idiot in your responses to him, when you say that he doesn't know what he's talking about or that he's an idiot or he's not as intelligent or not as smart as he thinks he is, why don't you actually edit in the supposed sources and statistics that you have, that you claim to have? I don't think you have them. I think that's why you, you only talk about them. I don't think you really have them. I think you say that you do to make your argument look better, but you don't really have them. Or they've just been debunked multiple multiple times. So, and, and honestly, I know I'm kind of contradicting myself, but it wouldn't matter what sources you posted, because like I said, the vast amount of sources and research points to what we're saying, okay? We're not ignorant. We're not seeing things the way we want to see them. We see things the way we do with pedophilia because we understand it. And a lot of these people that you're talking down to have had experiences, direct experiences, in dealing with pedophiles and child molesters. And they have had their own trauma that they've suffered through. Those people are the ones that you're talking down to right now. So, you know... Again, if you want to keep calling Doom an idiot in your responses to him, or me an idiot for that matter, or anyone else, you know, why don't you try to find actual solid proof, solid sources, statistics? You won't be able to find them. Just letting you know, you won't be able to find them. But, I mean, if there's a chance that you can, which is about as likely as pigs flying, but, I mean, if you can find solid, you know, evidence to counter... To counter us and back up your claim that we're just ignorant idiots that are just seeing things our own way, then please do so. But I don't think you will. And I think it's quite a, kind of funny. In your most recent response, you also said that, oh, well, it's just statistics that says this or says that. Yeah, evidence and research and sources and statistics that support what we're saying. So you're really going to deny that too? Just because it doesn't align with your sick opinions and ideas on the subject you know it kind of sounds like you're seeing things the way you want to see them you're not really seeing the reality of this or the facts of it you're but you're, you're saying that we're just seeing what we want to see i think you're just seeing what you want to see a little bit of projection there i think but anyways i'm done with this uh, i didn't plan to make a video today and i have to be at work early in the morning so i'm going to cut it right here and that'll be it for this one. So have a good day, everyone. Peace and later.